We were talking about rain yesterday, yeah. and what a difference today. It was beautiful. That system's gone. It's gone. All right. There could be another <laughs> one by the end of this week. Oh, it's kind of weird. Like, it was strange as yesterday was, mm -hmm. it's like the Pacific, maybe it's locked in a pattern, or it's like, oh, I'll just do that every seven days now for a little bit. But this is no indication, I'm sorry, of this being a trend for the rest of the no, season. No, 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 no. Really, okay. we're just looking at probably the next seven days on that. Okay. So I'll show you what I mean when we get into the long-range forecast. Let's start out by talking about the day you just had, because we did get rid of that pattern. Look out those windows. That's a live view from the virtual set. Looking back towards the Bay Bridge, not a cloud. There's no marine layer. There's also no other additional clouds, like what we had yesterday from that system that came through. One thing that remained were the cooler temperatures. And if you look at where we end up today for daytime highs, these are not the officials just yet. I should have these coming up in the next hour. But hopefully you're enjoying this below average Sunday. It's fantastic. Temperatures out there in the low 80s. San Francisco and Stern Grove, since we just finished up Stern Grove. I've got both locations on there. You pretty much load them at 60s. San Jose didn't get out of the upper 70s today. All right, so let's advance this now to tomorrow. We'll say goodbye to the numbers for today. And we are going to bring in some of the marine layer tomorrow. So let's start with that. And as we advance the future cast, and you can watch the high resolution depiction of what the marine layer is going to be up to between now and about 7 a.m. tomorrow, when it typically reaches its farthest extent inland, this is about as far inland as it's going. So at least it's there, but this is not a significant gray out to start the day. Most of us are going to wake up with relatively clear skies in the morning. And by the time we get to like 10 a.m., even that one little patch will be gone. And then we start a warming trend. So keeping in mind where we were today, nice with temperatures down below average, here's tomorrow. We're going back up, and this pretty much brings us right to where you should be for this time of year. So now instead of low 80s, it's mid to upper 80s for the warmer inland valley. San Jose's going to 81. That is exactly average for this time of year there. San Francisco, same story. We've gotten to that time of year now where the average daytime high is climbing for San Francisco. It's going to start going down for everybody else. But over the next five weeks, it keeps climbing a little bit here. And 69 is pretty much spot on the mark for what an average daytime high would be for San Francisco. All right, and you can see some of the rest of the numbers on here. Let's get over to the big monitor because I want you to see what I mean. If if I say there's another system similar to what we just saw coming our way by the time we get into next week. It doesn't look super impressive in terms of any ability to bring us rain. I do not have rain in the forecast for us by the time we get there. But what we will notice is cooler temperatures. Look at this picture. That's the last 24 hours. That big spinning cinnamon roll out there is that unseasonably strong area of low pressure for August. And that's why yesterday's weather was so weird. It's still there. But as that one leaves, and here's how we visualize what's coming next, there's another one. Did you see it just came through? That was through Thursday into Friday. So what we should plan for is at least some more interesting weather by the end of the week. Although I don't have rain in the forecast, what we do have is a drop in temperatures. And you're going to see the temperatures going down in the seven-day forecast. So let's start off with our microclimate for inland parts of the bay. You see your temperatures over here average tomorrow. Tuesday's like the warmest day in the seven day forecast. And then you cool back down going into next week and look where we are by Friday. Thicker clouds, temperatures in the low 80s. We'll do this now for the bay and you can see what the forecast looks like in the immediate bay itself. And the trend pretty much is the same. It's just a lot subtler here because you don't go through quite as dramatic swings anyway because you're in the bay. All right.